In this video, you'll see how to create a multiple choice test, which could be your midterm or any other test or quiz. The first step is to go into Blackboard and go into your course. So I'll click on the name of my course. Then on the left hand side, I'm going to go down to the course tool section and click on test, surveys, and pools. And then I'll choose the first choice of test. In Blackboard, tests and quizzes are the same thing. Now there are some quizzes that have already been created in this course, but let's take a look at how to create a quiz or a test from scratch. I'll click on Build Test, and then I'll type in, this is my midterm exam. The description is optional, but you would want to write some instructions for your students. Once you've typed in your instructions, We'll scroll down and click on Submit. When we look, we can see the instructions that I typed in on the previous screen. Our next step is to create a question. So I'll click on Create Question, and you can see that there are actually a number of different types of questions that you can create in Blackboard. Let's start with something simple, a multiple choice question. So I'll click on Multiple Choice, and then in the question text box, I'll type in my actual test question. And then I'll scroll down and I have some options here. One of the options that you might want to select is show answers in random order. When you do that, students will get the answer choices in different order. By default, Blackboard gives you four answer choices for a multiple choice question. Now I'll type my answer choices in each of the boxes. Next, we need to tell Blackboard which one is the correct answer. So to the right of the correct answer, I click on the button. So it knows that answer two is the correct answer for this question. I'll scroll down and click on Submit. And now we have our first question created. Here's the question the students will see. Here are their answer choices. The one with the check next to it is the one that we said was the correct answer. You also notice that it says for points it's assigned 10 points and that's what Blackboard automatically does. I'm going to change this to 5 points and you can change it to however many points you'd like. And then I'll click on submit. Once you've added in all of your questions, then you click on OK. The next step after creating the test is to assign the test to the students. To do that I'm going to put it in the assignment section of my Blackboard. So I'll click on Assignments, and under Assessments, I'm going to choose Test. It will show me a list of all of the tests that have been created for this course, and I want Midterm Exam. So I'll click on Midterm Exam and click Submit. Now I have some options when I'm assigning the exam. The description is optional, so I'll leave that blank. But what we do want to do is it says open test in new window. I'll click on yes. And what that does is it opens the test in a new browser window for the students. The other choices that we want to make, we want to make the link available. So I'll click yes there. For this one we had set a timer. So I'll click set timer. And we had said the students would have 90 minutes to take the exam. It's already set to one hour. So let's add in another 30 minutes to make a 90 minute exam. We also have to say when the exam will be available. So I'm going to click next to display after and I'm going to have this be available to students beginning October 14th and I can even set the time of day. So we'll say October 14th at 8 a.m. the exam starts and then the students will have until that Wednesday at 8 a.m. to complete the exam. One other option that you would probably want to turn on is randomize questions. When you choose randomize questions, the questions come up in a different order every time the test is open. And now I'll click Submit. The test should appear at the bottom of our assignment page, and there it is, midterm exam, but you'll notice that it says it's not available until after October 14th at 8 a.m. Once the students have taken the exam, their grades will show up in the Grade Center. So I'm going to go down to Grade Center and choose Full Grade Center. And 
and the midterm should show up since the last thing I added, it's the last column in the grade center. And as students take the exam, their scores will show up in this column. If you have any questions, just give us a call, drop us an email, or schedule a time for us to meet with you one-on-one. -on -one.